Hello guys, welcome to the market analyst channel. And in this video, I'm going to be solving a particular problem which most people, especially beginners trader, are encountering. And uh, which is uh, how to actually get the right stop loss amount or a stop loss price depending on the leverage you are using. So people want to use 10x, 50x, 30x, 22, 25, but 100x, but they don't know and they want to lose a particular amount of their position. But they don't, need, they don't, they don't know the right price in which they want to actually use a short stop loss. That before opening the position, just to be sure if that amount is actually okay, you know, for uh for for opening the position at the time. So before I continue, if you have not subscribed to this channel and are watching this video right now, subscribe now, click on the subscribe button, and also put on the notification so as to get notified when a new video is uploaded on trading. So let's get started. So as you can see, also you can join our Telegram group for signals and the likes. So as you can see on your screen right now, you will see that, uh, let's assume I want to use $20. I say, let me just go to a basic level. Let's assume I want to use $20 to open a Bitcoin position. It can be a Bitcoin, it can be a Dogecoin, it can be any position. And we're using a 20x leverage. Do you understand? And I'm willing to, out of this $20 I use, or I want to use to open this position, out of the $20 I'm willing to use to open that position, these are all before I open the position. Do you understand me? So I'm just I just I just I just want to know the price gap just to be sure if it's going to cover my region or is enough for a stop loss or I should need I should increase it or reduce my leverage. So this is just like before you open the position, you are trying to know. If this is the right entry, if this is the right stop loss amount, that's enough for me so I will not get stop out. You grab. So, and I'm willing to lose $4 on that $20 from the $20 that I use to open the position. So, let's say my entry price is $70,000. That is when Bitcoin is at 70K. But when Bitcoin comes to 70K, I want to enter the the trade maybe want to pend it for me or not so what should be my stop loss price if i'm willing to lose four dollar so what should be my stop loss price for this trade don't forget i i feel like i should use 20x and out of the money i'm using to open the position i only want to lose four dollar you can choose to lose five you can choose to use ten you can choose to lose everything to liquidate everything it depends on you but this one from the past past this is from the perspective of someone that wants to apply risk management. So, how do you know your stop loss price? Because you know your entry and you only want to lose $4. So, how do you know your stop loss price? So, this is just basic math. You don't need to do this every time, but just know the principle and you can just pick up your phone calculator and just calculate it out. Do you understand? Some exchanges have stop loss calculator and the likes to know how much to know the amount you are willing to risk or they are going to lose. So, but let's click it, go to the next top. So, this is the basic calculation. So, don't forget I'm using $20 you know, on the trade with the 20x leverage. So, first off, first thing you need to do is to get the total position size. And the position size will now be 20x leverage that you are using times $20. That I want to put on the trade. So you can be 10x, your own can be 10x, 10 times 20, 50 times the amount you want to put to open the position. That's the position size. So the, posi the position size is the amount you want to put into the position to open it, to open the trade, and the leverage you are using. Multiply it together, will give you the position size. And then it's loss calculation. So I'm willing to lose $4. There are some from my $20 initial position amount so what is the percentage of loss so that will not be four over the position size you can see times 100 that is one percent just one percent of 400 dollars which is one percent of just zero position size so then the next thing is uh the stop loss price 
So the entry is 70k. The entry price is 70k. So 70k times 0 0.01, that will give us 700. So that will now be 700. If, if I'm logging the position, let's, I'm, I'm, let's say I'm logging it. So that will now be 700 minus 7,000, 70,000 minus 700. That means my stop loss price will be 69.30. That 69.30 is just the amount in which if price should get to, I will lose just for dollar. And if I'm shorting a position, that would not be 77. That would not be 70,000 plus 700 to give you 77. That's if I'm shorting the position. So now, let's now assume just a random stuff. Let's now assume that um, I want to use I want to use 200 I want to use let's use, I want to use 50 dollar to open the position let's assume I want to use 50 dollar to open the position and uh also okay let's do it like this let me show you on the screen so let me show you on the screen so let's use this as a practical do you understand me so I would like to use 50 dollar to open a position on BTC and uh, I want to use 25x leverage. So that will now be $50 times the 25x leverage. That will give you 1,250. So that's the position size. And I'm willing to lose $25. So how many percent is that is that is, is that on the position side? That's 25 divided by 1,250. So uh, 25 divided by 1,250. So times 100, so that's just 2%. So that's just 2% on the position size. So since since that's a 2%, so then the question now is, uh, that will be 2% of the entry price. So times, so 2% divided by 100 times 82,000. So that's like 164. So that means uh, if I'm to long this position, so 164 minus 82,000. So my stop loss price should be 81,836. So you can try that one out also. So just like same way, get the position size, then get the percentage of loss, multiply by the percentage of loss by the amount of the entry price, then subtract it if you are long in it, if you are, if you are shorting it, you add it. So it's very straightforward. So that's all about that. If you don't if you don't understand, let me know. I'm going to make another video on that. But I think this is very, very detailed and normal and very simple. Is what you can just pick up your phone calculator and just calculate what you are going to lose if you know the amount you want to risk. This is just basically for exchange, not on MT4 or MT5. This is just on any crypto exchange. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. God bless.